See you in like 40 minutes. break before I make dinner. Good morning, welcome to the, another vlog, I think. Yeah, another vlog. We're gonna do a cooking video today. Um, so yeah, join me and watch me as I make what I eat in a day. And, um, yeah, I think two savouries and one sweet. We'll see how we go. Anyways, follow along, enjoy, get some food, and yeah. First thing you want to do is melt some butter. It's cold now, so... Leaving the butter out because it doesn't stay soft. It's like almost melted. I don't know. It didn't fully melt, but just stir, stir, and. Okay, to that, you wanna add about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Um, I only have ready ground pepper, but if you have like the ones in the shaker, use that. Okay, garlic. So, it says to use a clove of garlic, but to be honest, you can use however much you want. After your garlic, you add about a tablespoon of honey. I don't have time, but I do have um, oregano leaves, oregano leaves, two teaspoons, one, two, and this becomes like the marinade for the chicken. And now what you want to do, I mean, you can use whatever chicken you want, thighs, breasts, drumsticks is what we had, so that's what I'm using. So you want to arrange, normally I wouldn't pack it in so tightly, but don't want to waste any of this goodness. Okay, now to this, you want to pour in your marinade. Oh, look, it's already settling. So give it one more stir, and then pour it all over the chicken. Your hands are going to get dirty anyway, so you may as well use it to get all the marinade out. So you want to spread, make sure to coat the skin so that it can turn a nice golden colour and get that flavour. So the recipe I'm following, it says to put it in for like an hour, but that's using chicken thighs. Um, because these are smaller, maybe I'll try 40 minutes first, but hold on, I need to add half a cup of stock to this, so you can leave a break. It says to use beef stock, but I only have chicken stock, so whatever. So, this will sort of like, act as like, to cook it underneath as well. And it will also leave like, a nice little gravy after everything's cooked. And just give it more flavour. So yeah, I'm gonna put this into the oven and see you in like 40 minutes. In the meantime, while that's cooking, I am going to prepare the mash because we are eating it with mash. And for the mash, I usually, I never cut up the skin because nutrients and whatever texture but I will just go through it and like peel off the impurities if any just yeah 
and then after this I will chop it up. I will also put some green beans on, steam some green beans. Need a veggie moment. So once you're finished, you just want to chop them up into Try aim for like even pieces because that just helps them cook faster. But if not, uh, eventually you'll get there, so just do your best. Hopefully these don't take too long. So yeah, fill that up. I'm gonna rinse it first. So once I've rinsed it, I'm just going to dry the bottom and then put on the stove to high and then wait for that to cook. Okay, I'm on a little break. Um, hopefully that's all done within the hour. Um, the only thing I have left to do is put some green beans on steam, but maybe I'll put that on towards the end of the mash so i can just put it on top and use the steam from that to cook it and then yeah we can plate up and eat um right now i'm having my little honey and lemon tea in my whitney mug rest in peace whitney anyways um yeah see you later mash you can just add whatever you want into it whatever your desires are for flavors i'm just throwing in whatever we had butter garlic cream cheese again i'm back with the whisk because we don't have a masher <laughs> you know stock cubes, chicken stock. You can add salt. I don't care if I have lumps in mine. You can do yours till it's smooth. Okay, so I took it out of the oven to give it a little baste mesh, but um, maybe it's a bit too overcrowded. Cut some beans. I trimmed the tops and the ends. So, steam a basket. Fill this with water. Turn on your steamer. Get this on here. Go down steam. Thank you. 
Okay, it's time to eat. Um, we finished our lunch, so now I'm gonna make a cake. So yeah, I've been wanting to make this cake for a while because I saw it on TikTok, so yeah. Okay. So, because my scale's out of battery, I have to do it manually. Okay, so these are like for liquid um, measuring, but it's okay. Half a cup of sugar. And with this, you just want to whisk it for 10 minutes after that double. and a teaspoon of baking powder. And then you just wanna fold that. You want two tablespoons. You just fold that in. It's literally five ingredients. This is where you wanna end up. Get some money or whatever. And then just, use it just get a little bit on the side so it can Sprinkle some almonds. Because you want it to rise. But you also want I won't put it towards the I won't make it heavy towards the middle because They'll just make it collapse, but okay, I think that's enough. And then last, do like a drizzle. I'm gonna drizzle. Anyways, and then that goes into the oven. You wanna leave it there for 35 minutes. It's a grow. And the 
make it rain. Okay, cake is cooling. I'm gonna put some cream in it after. But yeah. Putting that in, you want to let it rest. break before I make dinner. You want to fry up your onions. Flower taste.
I've only had chicken stock, but if you have beef broth, use that. Any stock will do, actually. It will taste amazing, nonetheless. So, once you've add the, added all that, bring this up to the simmer. That's why I don't like induction, it takes forever. But yeah, anyway, once this comes to a simmer, then you wanna add your Dijon mustard and sour cream and then add the meat and that's it. So easy this dish. So you wanna add your sour cream. As well as your mustard. Don't worry if it doesn't look like it's completely mixed in. As the sour cream heats up, it will melt. Don't worry, guys. So once this is all mixed in, I want to bring it up to the simmer and then I'll add all the meat back in. The sauce is back in here. I mean, the meat is back into the sauce. You wanna put the meat with all its juices back in here cause it's still a bit un undercooked. So it will cook the rest in this last minute or two. Don't worry about it being tough because we did the valeting process earlier. So that should soften it. So yeah. Once this is done, you just season it to taste. Please season your food. And then it is ready to eat. So yeah, that's the stroganoff thing. Um, to the side here, I have a pot going on because I'm going to put on some pasta to eat with this. But there is leftover mash, so whatever the others want to eat it with, they can choose. But yeah, this is done. And now I'm going to carry on with, with the cake. I wish our lighting was so yeah anyway this is like a little cutter thingy I put it on the like on the seven number seven so that will like give us like there and yeah you just gently apply and just go across don't be too hard And then see, wow, um, cake pan. So, this is honestly like so soft, not soft, but like, anyways, I'm gonna put it on this cake stand and now. 
top it with said cream. The recipe that I'm following says to like use those big bottles of cream, but I feel like that's just too much. Even though it's like cream, like you'd think adding cream to like a cake would just make it like extra sweet, but it actually doesn't. It just, it like offsets the sweetness. Even my spatula. You have to make the cream. The cream alone is, oh my gosh, so good. Just fill the middle. Try to get it as even as possible. Doesn't matter if it doesn't, because you're the one that's eating it. But yeah. And then you want to try just put it. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. Look at that, wow. So gorgeous. So, I wanna put that in the fridge and then we can eat it later after we have dinner. Okay, all the cooking's done. Now I'm tired. I'm done from cooking for the rest of the week. <laughs> so yeah, today, oh, I haven't even eaten the dinner and the cake yet, but I'll record it, don't worry. Just lying here in the dark with the, got the fan on, I'm a bit hot. Just waiting for the others to get back home and then we'll eat. And then I'll vlog us eating, well, me eating. And then, yeah, oh my gosh, the lighting is so bad, but I'm too tired to fix it up. Anyway, I'll see you when we eat. Okay. I will, I will start to eat now. The pasta's a bit, I left it for a while, so it's a bit ugly. But I will eat it nonetheless. Okay, it's not the prettiest looking thing, but what can you do at this time of day with all the lighting that's so bad? Could be prettier, but anyways. Be strong enough. Oh, anyway. Anyways, strong enough for dinner. I made pasta because I just wanted something different because I made mash before for lunch. But if there's any mash left, I will I will be eating some with mash later on. Don't you worry about it. I also feel like I went a little bit overboard with the bicarb soda, but if you don't have the budget for the nicer cuts of beef or whatever, you can just get like the, for your budget cuts or like economical meats and then just do the velveteen process. Cause these are soft. Honestly, it feels like I'm eating a Chinese dish. <laughs> All the recipes that I used, I'll put it in the description box. If you are like interested in trying it or just whatever. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> the other one, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I'm out, I'm out. Time. That's so light. Wow. It's just like bread. 
Mm. It has like that, the initial texture is bready, but then it just becomes super light when you keep on biting it. It's not. Okay, I'm in bed now. Um, final thoughts. Uh, my favorite thing I made today was the mash. It was delicious. The cake was nice. It tasted more like a bread. Maybe I left it in the oven too long, but it'll go nice with a cup of tea, to be honest. Simple, delicate flavors, so I feel like it. anyone would like it. But yeah. I took some nerve in because my body feels out of it. But yeah, thanks for watching along on today's vlog. If you're inspired, um, check out the description box because I'll put the recipes in there. But yeah, see you next time. Bye.